Can you hear that? It sounds like a pack of coyotes. There's definitely something over there howling. I love living off the land. It's something that started when I was young. I wasn't very outgoing, and I just found that it was a lot more comfortable to be outside by myself. My area of expertise, I'm good at finding, uh, finding resources to construct what I may need to build in any sort of situation. I can throw something together that can keep me out of any sort of elements. Behind me is a fort. Anything I could salvage, the front slats right there are just all cut down saplings. Um, the front door are just pieces of slats of wood I put together to make the door. The handle is a deer femur. My shelters don't win any beauty pageants, but they're really fortified. Not only can I build structures, but I can also build security. Uh, I would have a myriad of pyres staked all around. Anything that's coming through is getting poked or prodded. I would have weaponry just made all from sticks and staffs. What I also added as kind of an earlier alarm system is a brush barrier. So anything that wants to come close, it's also gonna make a considerable amount of noise. My plan is to construct a safe border and just keep myself busy so I don't fall into a slump of desperation and loneliness. I think I would struggle the most with feeling that I'm missing out on something that my family is doing. I have a son, two stepdaughters, my lovely wife. I, I take care of everybody here. If you can't get a fire started, then you probably need to call mom and go home because you shouldn't be outside. I know I can win and I want to prove it to my family and mostly myself that I can take on a goal such as this and overcome it and stomp it into the ground. Alone at last. It's scary out here in these woods. My stomach is in knots.